Christmas Day of um, my bit of the Nightmare Race. Um, when we left last night, uh, well, when I last crashed last night, uh, I was just finishing off issue 7, so I should be logging in to get uh, ca the completion reward, uh, which will set me up nicely. Um, and then I think I'm pretty much at the point where I'm ready for Gatekeeper. Halfway through uh, my Elite. Um, and the screen's gone black. Oh, I get the little cutscene, that's nice. Nightmare Dungeon in New, Z in New England. Drat. Ah, oh, well. Um, so, he's going to send me to... Oh, it's that guy. Uh, yeah, this will now be sending me off to uh, uh, Shadowy Forest to go and pick up my headpiece. Ooh, and looking at it, I think I can get Shadow Medic. Yes, I can. Excellent. So, that means that in terms of my build, all that I am now missing is going to be uh, uh, Mad Skills. Uh... Which, fortunately, I already have. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, just going to hop on TeamSpeak and see whether Hlop's on. Hlop on TeamSpeak. Connected. Channel right. switched. Hello, mate. Hello, AWOL. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Um, Splendid. You know that moment last night where I said, well, quite clearly, the... Uh, uh, my intention of going to bed soon is going to go to hell. Yeah. Uh, not only did it go to hell, it went to Hellfall and Ankh facility. <laughs> um, right, so how many did you manage to do this? Uh, I am now halfway through. I am four for eight. Uh, awesome. So I'm hopeful that uh, today I can uh, uh, get the rest of them knocked out. Um, and get myself on Gatekeeper. Sweet. Uh, which will then add a fantastic sense of urgency to you. Um, and I am currently at one day, one minute. Uh, so just past the 24 hour mark. All right. Let's get myself into... Uh, Dungeon Finder. Uh, so did you start the groups yourself? Or nope. Did they invite you? Uh, got you picked invited. Up. Yep. Nice, nice. Was it just like people invite you out of the blue or did they yep. still in the Completely. hell first? Uh, I, I, um, the first time uh, I got invited for uh, when I did Polaris, uh, I got sent a tell uh, saying Javanti right. doing uh, Elite Daily. Um, the second time, I just got invited, and they were like, we, we're going to run the uh, uh, Elite Daily. And I was like, awesome. And um, <laughs> then was like, oh god, why are we going into Ankh? Um, and then <laughs> sort of was a little bit surprised when uh, uh, they then sort of went from Ankh to Hellfallen, and, um, uh, and then on to Facility. Um, <laughs> so you rode the wave while it lasted. Yeah, going, oh my god, this is awesome. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I just got my first skill up to rank 10. Grat, uh, out of curiosity, how much you play, uh, what's your played at currently? Uh, currently I'm fighting, so I will have to finish that specific uh, activity before I can tell you. Gah, I know some people. And I now have uh, almost a, uh, a full uh, heal set. 19 hours. 19 hours. So you're 5 hours behind me. Um, that's not that... It's doable. Yeah, but it's not much time, and at best I will... 
do it. And maybe. Yeah, it's gonna give you. I'm um, what? Just thinking, the elites are gonna take a couple of hours. Um, even if you just chain run them. Um. No. Uh. No, so I'm not sitting comfortably in my seat, so to say. No. So, so uh, um. I have a long way to go before I'm ready to do anything, and. Uh, it's a case of, yeah, because when the theory was to begin with that when you can group then it should be so mm. much easier that you were like going, oh, why did I agree to this? Yeah, I, I really thought that you were going to be totally schooling me. Um, yeah. And, uh, and it's interesting, I and mean, it might be the sort of... At a different time, at a different time, and a different place, um, it may be that uh, sort of there are more people. If you manage to catch a group who are leveling, sort of at the same time, so like uh, when you get one of the uh, uh, promotion um, weekends where they uh, sort of they do a big push to get recruiting um, into the uh, fresh players into the game, um, yeah. but. Uh, I must to admit, be frank, I'm... I don't think so. No, because based on my experience, just since you don't have any actual bonus yeah. uh, involved as in in-game mechanics involved with this, yeah, the there's content not really is any trivial. Incentive. Uh. Yeah, the content is trivial uh, in terms of uh, finishing it. So there is yeah. really no need to group yeah. in order to finish the content and going faster. Uh, yes, that's nice. You will get XP somewhat faster. That's uh, really awesome. Uh, however, the time you need to spend, especially yeah. if you're an experienced player and you have a lot of new players, on explaining to them like what are they supposed to be doing, how are they supposed to be doing, what they should be focusing on. Yeah. While it's awesome for the community, uh, it's not really something which will speed up your... Uh, progress yeah I I must admit it it has been a fascinating thing from that perspective that just sort of I'm still part of me is still feeling surprised that it works this way around yeah I'm um, surprised as well I'm, I'm kind of sad as well because you know yeah. just, MMOs is supposed to be about grouping uh, or, yeah. or at least have an incentive to be together with others. But this is kind of, you play solo, you see people running around, you get annoyed that they steal your objectives. <laughs> and then you kind of just uh, s start grouping when you get to the end game. And this is also what we see in practice happening as well. It's yeah. Like, yeah, some people do join uh, audio from get-go because they like the social aspect of it. Yeah, so or I frequently to sort of if they've met one of us um, early on uh, when they've encountered something where they are having an issue uh, and sort of and they've got help, then uh, sort of or they've been talking to Sanctuary and uh, sort of uh, we've had recommendations coming out of Sanctuary. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it's it is surprising. Um, and as you say, it is honestly a bit disappointing. Um, and on the other hand, though, and you don't want uh, sort of. I was about to say you don't want to completely trivialise your content, but I think from what we've seen, actually, the content is already pretty trivialised. Um, uh, it's tricky. Um, Yeah, so you have no incentive to, and again, if content was actually difficult, that would have been an incentive to group. Yeah. Because your progress alone then would have been slowed down just by the difficulty of the content. Yeah. Uh, rather than. 
And in a weird way, you almost want two paths sort of where there is a solo path to take, but it will take longer. Um, yeah. Or uh, having a group path which you can take, which uh, sort of will take you through uh, sort of... Uh, essentially, you. it would be nice to have sort of a harder arc which uh, sort of... I don't know, you might be able to solo it. Um, sort of... Uh, well, let's say if you're heavily optimized, you will be able to solo it. But yeah. Otherwise... But, yeah. Um. It's it's like the hard areas, you remember those in Transylvania? Oh, the Nightmare uh, areas. Which have been nerfed. Yeah. 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 Well, they're definitely a doable solo. Yes. And uh, they obviously they got nerfed because they were not used as intended. It's just, uh, people went there in endgame gear, demolished everything and got their signets. Yeah, they That's became signet grinding place. locations. Um, yeah. Although I'm sort of big places. Yeah. I I I'm in terms of what their intended purpose was. There is an argument that I sort of if you think about the uh, uh, actual uh, sort of I mean, we don't know what their intended purpose actually is. And, no, we don't, and but... the fact that, uh, but just the fact that you've got uh, sort of the different drops coming from different areas, actually, sort of, it does make me wonder whether signet grinding is not actually one of their intended purposes. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I think that those areas had potential this yeah. more so than uh, the way they are now. We should just solo uh, leveling areas, and mechanics like auto grouping could have been beneficial in those areas. Yeah. Uh, now, obviously, auto grouping is something which should be included in the game early on. But Indeed. you've seen that plenty of MMOs who are using this kind of mechanics, where you have these sort of yeah. group areas, and immediately you enter the area, you will be grouped with other people because they are meant to be done as a group and even if you are there independently of each other you are still fighting for the same objective Come here. instead of being competing against each other for the same objective, objective. Indeed. Uh. And I do think that Rift actually had the best um, sort of public grouping system which I've encountered um, uh, just because, sort of, and it felt the easiest to work with. All right. I haven't actually played Rift, so I can't say anything uh, about it. Rift basically, um, Rift shockingly has uh, these uh, sort of public events called Rifts, uh, where free. Ooh, yeah, wow. I know. What are the chances? Um, where basically you get a big spawn node. Um, turning up uh, that does waves of ads coming out of it. Um, and so you get something along the lines of sort of scenario waves, but um, sort of it, it's a big public event. Um, right. And uh, so, and when you are in the proximity of other players in sort of that area, you just get a button come up at the top of your screen saying join public group. Right. Um, and it will then sort of automatically join you into a uh, uh, raid um, where uh, sort of and loot is handled on an individual basis uh, dependent on how much you participate in the fight and you can actually see you get a little uh, sort of meter that tracks your progress in terms of participation and it rewards healing, it rewards damage uh, and it rewards um, sort of tanking as well so, uh, sort of, and then depending on which level, you get a different uh, sort of uh, reward bag, basically. Um, and yeah, it's done really well. Um, and it means that if you are feeling like uh, a antisocial sod, um, and or for some reason you are leveling 
um, sort of totally solo, then you, you're not forced into it. it it's completely down to uh, um, you as to uh, sort of whether or not you click that button. Um, but that button is there, um, and uh, sort of all that you have to do is just uh, sort of uh, click it, and you're immediately raid grouped. Yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, it it's a nice, simple handling of the mechanic. Um, and you don't get the uh, uh, bit where sort of. Uh, someone goes, oh, but I don't want to be the one who starts a raid. Maybe someone who knows a bit more should be uh, like leading the raid. Um, yeah. And and I, we see so many experienced players who still suffer from this sort of, oh, I'm not sure that I know enough to be the leader. Uh, and frankly, I'm, I could be going out and uh, sort of uh, trying to get myself into a uh, um, uh, sort of night uh, nightmare uh, into an elite group now for uh, the four remaining elites which I have, um, but I actually don't uh, for for some weird reason I I would prefer to be invited rather than start my own groups, um, and and sort of uh, and frankly that's just silly. <laughs> Yeah, considering that you probably know the game more than most people, yeah, a lot of uh, people who are playing elites. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it's a bit weird at the minute um, because uh, uh, sorry, I'm just checking uh, the uh, dungeon to see who's actually signed up for elite. Uh, Last time I looked, there weren't any tanks. There is one now, Roxa. Why do I know Roxa? Um, so I... Oh. One, two, three, four. Um. And, yeah, I'm... <sighs> It it gets weird. Um, I, frankly, I'm also basically at the point where I'm uh, coming up on the end of the uh, uh, Transylvanian story mission, so I'm kind of thinking, just get that knocked out, and then I get myself a purple fist and thought you'd. Um, uh, That and the fact yeah. that cu currently there's only myself included four people who are looking to do elite dungeons in the group finder uh, social window because we have to make yeah. a distinction between the two at the moment um, because they are going to give us a group finder so uh, sort of the sooner we get used to using the correct terminology the easier it will be when they then actually introduce the damn thing and uh, sort of we then uh, not going, sort of, have you tried using this? Oh no, I, I mean that really, damn. Um, uh, just, it's going to save us time and effort in the long run. Um. I'm a little bit surprised that I'm in the uh, social window um, and I'm listed and it has uh, got a little icon uh, saying that I'm listed. Fine, I'll go and kill you. So eager to die. Um, uh, but if you cl uh, sort of, and it will tell me that you are currently queued in the queue for Dungeons Brackets Elite. Um, but if I click on it, it doesn't actually open up the uh, um, social window just would have thought that would be a bit of a obvious one, frankly.
you're here. Yeah, yeah, Callisto, stop giving me grief. <laughs> Only with me could you pass through her barriers. I am her creation and her Achilles heel. I love the fact I just entered the castle whilst Callisto's going, are you sure you want to go in there? Because like, once we pass this point, there's no going back. And it's like, oh, you've already gone in. Um. <laughs> Ooh, my whole screen going black. Nice. Probably intentional, I hope. <laughs> Probably intentional, possibly intentional. It's a feature. Um. Yeah, it seems to be intentional for this mission. Oh, you aren't doing the Seven Plagues of Egypt, are you? The unburnt bush. Yeah. That would be the Plagues of Egypt, then. Right, yeah. I expect it to be kind of a shorter mission, but... It takes a while, especially when... Yeah. Those bushes are not easy to see where they're burning. The trick Probably is to go and you, uh, sort of. You basically, if you go and you stand on top of the bush which is currently on fire, then the next one should then light up. Yeah. Uh, figure as um. much. Oh, fine. Microphone muted. So I'm now at 44 APs. <sighs> Which means only 6 APs left until I can have muscles. And the reason I went for this, uh, this time was of going down that tree, so I decided just to get it now, as I'm there, before going for the other, the other abilities. Alright, so we've done that one, we've done this one. Microphone and activated. And I'm back. And we have probably should be going to the Orochi. At this point, so let's see what Orochis have to offer me. That's a point. I still have the immersion missions to do later on. Uh, the in what missions? Uh, the side stories um, uh, sort of pack um, of investigation oh, right. missions. Um, I decided not to do them at the time on the basis that uh, sort of, uh, frankly, if we were going for the uh, sort of replicating what most people have then uh, I wasn't sure whether it was gonna fall under that category or not um. yeah it's uh, side stories are slightly less likely to be purchased by everyone but then yeah it's hard to say uh, do they actually offer any better rewards than normal missions no they do. Um. Uh, I don't think that they do, uh, other than the fact that they're sort of it's investigation missions which give uh, good XP. Well, good XP for the final thing, but the steps are going to be um, sort of relatively. Y you're not going to be going and killing anything on the way to it. Um, no. Uh, and uh, 
Yes, it's been an interesting one, sort of thinking about what is going to be the sort of the most optimal route um, to uh, getting XP. Uh, not that I think that actually terribly either of us actually went down the sort of fully optimal route. I'm, um, no, I'm pretty sure that we. At least I haven't. Yeah, in all of the uh, sabotage missions, they have this unseen achievement thingy, which is uh, something you might want to watch out for if you are doing those on your main, because achievements uh, again. Well, for one thing is they're fun. Uh, not brute forcing sabotage missions can be kind of useful. Oh, I hate it. But then again, if you're kind of trying just to get to the uh, um, get to the areas, then spending time on rerunning a mission at this stage is probably not the uh, not uh, what you want to do. So for me, it's kind of, if I get it, I get it, if I don't get it, I don't get it. I can always go back later and pick him up, if need be. I think that's the best, best attitude to take with them, to be honest. Uh, and so many of them, sort of, you can fail just by setting a toe wrong. Um, yeah. And and sort of, if it is something that you uh, think that you'd like to uh, pursue later, then sort of going back and repeating it and sort of taking each of it each step as a learning example of sort of like well where should I not be standing for this and um, sort of what killed me here and um, right so, I've got so right these guys you must not be seen by and if you don't have good gear they will kill you and make life really hard and annoying as you can see they are boss type of mobs patrolling uh, everywhere and now I was just trying to pick up a bottle and because for some reason I couldn't use you to pick it up I was trying to click and was not paying attention to the transformed scientists <laughs> Prometheus initiative? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a case of. Yeah. Give me a pain in the ass. Now, I am at level, so you can see that they are definitely killable, but when I was here for the first time and didn't know how the builds worked and what stats were best. Oh, they were devastating to me. He just owned me so hard. Out of curiosity, uh, how much has your build changed? Um, sort of, uh, yeah. I think that that's actually one of the big things about the way that we're doing it. Um, because you and I both know the game, we know the mechanics, we are able to uh, sort of pick our build um, so early on rather than having. Uh, sort of 
the various invest, uh, sort of experimentation which uh, most new players will experience. Um. Yeah, uh, well, it's not that I have uh, optional build. I'm far from it. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get Master's House now, uh, but I will still need to wait before I can equip it until I have a different impair because having an impair. Yeah. When leveling is more useful than having Master's House. Indeed. But once I get to running later on, Master's House is golden. Yeah. Now, uh, again, the reason I took Master's House, I was explaining why you were away, is simply because since I was going down that route for clearing the path, I just decided to invest uh, all the way down, just to finish off that branch. Because by the time I get my level 10 skills, I will be. Uh, uh, already in a place uh, really comfortable AP wise. I the hell? Don't have all of the abilities I want, but it's not going to be the issue. Okay, so I am currently getting absolutely destroyed by being locked in a cutscene. Lovely. And I'm, yep, I just got killed during the cutscene. And it's, it's continuing the cutscene. Um, the escape key not working. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I don't think that you that was quite intended. Combs. Yeah, it's a new feature. <laughs> um. Right, let's try that again. There's a slight chance of infection. Tiny, tiny chance of infection. <laughs> Just a little one. Yeah, and bathing in filth is not the best option because you have 10 stack of filth that you see. My health bar are rather annoying. Yeah. And they're falling off one by one uh, rather than the whole shebang at the same time. Damn it. So right now, I just hope I will not die. <laughs> This is where Awol's build prevails because he has Feast Hills and uh, this kind of situation makes it much easier because I have extremely limited hills. With lengthy cooldowns. But it seems like I'm gonna leave, I'm now down to 3 stacks. And my health is going down slow enough for me to have martial discipline ready. On the other side, this has slowed down my progress because now I had to just be standing here and wait for the stacks to go away. Which is again unfortunate for the whole thing. Seriously? 
So yeah, th this area is nasty. You have filth, you have mines, you have exploding filth pods. If you kill the pods, they don't hurt you, by the way. Yeah, it's good if you know if you kill them, um, and just so people know, you, there are settings which will allow you, um, which will basically allow for the game to outline the enemies and make it easier to see. I think it's settings. I'm not sure if they enabled by default. Uh, maybe they are now, but yeah. Alright, so we are done with this, now we need to get over there. Alright, so let's just see if we can jump out of the situation. Yeah, awesome. So, sabotage missions, they are absolutely beautiful for running things uh, fast when you know them. They are an absolute pain in the ass when you do not, as you will be taking much longer time to complete them than what you would have otherwise. And now I'm back on 10 stacks, but thankfully I've already finished off the, uh, the quest and can just happily move away from this area. Uh, this time the stacks actually uh, disappeared quite quickly, and, and that's nice. What? Oh, thank God for that. Hmm? <laughs> I thought uh, the uh, uh, mission bugged. Um, oh! Uh, but thankfully it didn't. Alright, so now we just go for a normal kill mission. Uh, action missions can also be tricky in terms of finding the objectives, but they are less tricky than the other types, more often than not. Lethal perimeter unit. Uh. Interesting. What's up? Uh, just uh, annoyingly, I'm on the uh, uh, last, the very final bit of the uh, story <laughs> mission, and someone else has now entered um, the group finder, which means that there are now actually enough people to put together an elite run. Um, Well, that was funny. Uh, so the lethal perimeter unit actually killed me. Smooth. Yeah. It's pretty lethal. Extremely. Um. It is extremely lethal. All right. Yeah, I remember the mission being annoying before as well, but not yep. this annoying. It's like okay. I just want to jump into you, portal. Why won't you let me jump into you?
So yes, a lot of the time uh, you will be introduced to mechanics in order to basically sort of teach you the mechanic um, uh, in some kind of sort of story related way. Um, okay, here we go. And so sort of in various uh, dungeons and everything you will get um, sort of a bit of a mechanic um, in order to teach you um, what it is and th they give you that as the trash mobs um, and so for example when you're running uh, the ankh um, you're introduced to uh, the nasty sticky moats which really stuff you up um, fairly quickly um, sort of unlike before you've pulled any mobs there's one right there at the beginning um, and then as you go through the bosses those uh, will then get used more and more and so yeah it's an interesting way to manage it all um, and yep fist weapon woo purple fist weapon awesome